Dear That Reef Show, I've been in the hobby for less than a year now and have a 40 gallon tank with a few fish and a lot of coral, mainly LPS, but a few small SPS frags. I do a water change every other week, but have recently noticed my corals just don't seem to be doing as well. So I did water tests yesterday and discovered my calcium was at 343 and alkalinity was 6.9. I did a little research and decided to set up dosing pumps. Could you recommend some products and walk me through how to set it up? Sincerely, two partless in Tacoma, yes. Now that we got all the gear we need, let's just start by talking about dosing supplements. There's really two ways to go about dosing supplements. The first and most easy is just to buy pre-mixed supplement. You usually get a calcium and an alkalinity buffer. But the second way, and probably longer term, more cost effective, is to buy a dry supplement, and then you just have to mix it at home yourself with RODI water. So if you're asking specifically for my recommendation, I would just go to Marine Depot and choose a brand. Any one of them is gonna work fine for you. I currently use the Brightwell Reef Code A and B. You've chosen your supplement and now we need to test. I'd recommend one of two test kits. The first and more affordable one is from Red Sea. It's the Reef Foundation Pro. And probably my number one recommendation are the HANA Alkalinity and Calcium Checkers. They're super accurate and they read the color for you. Now that you've chosen your two-part solution and you have tested your water, you now need to raise the levels of calcium and alkalinity in your tank to get them exactly where you want them. And you do this manually. So what you do is you go to Marine Depot, you go to their calcium and alkalinity calculator, you choose your product, and then you put in how much water is in your tank, what your current calcium and alkalinity level is, and then where you want your calcium and alkalinity to be, and it will tell you how much of that supplement you need to add. Then at the same time for two days, you wanna test how much calcium and alkalinity is being depleted every day by your corals. Then you can go back to the Marine Depot calcium and alkalinity calculator to find out how much you need to dose every day to make up for that loss. You can set up an automatic dosing system using dosing pumps. When it comes to dosing pumps, there are several good brands out there and you're probably not gonna go wrong with any of them. There are two dosing pumps that I'm gonna recommend. The first is from Bubble Magus. It's the BMT-01 or the BMT-11 which is a slightly upgraded version. They each come with three dosing heads, so you can dose up to three separate things, and they have programming built into the system itself. My second recommendation and the product that we're gonna be using today is the Camor X1 Bluetooth Micro Pump. This one connects directly to an iOS or Android device, and you can program it from your phone. Now we just need to decide, are you going to purchase a specialty made reservoir for holding the two-part solution, or are you going to drill holes in the top of the two-part dosing containers themselves? First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is get the supplies you need. So go to Marine Depot, you're gonna to wanna to pick up two of these one quarter inch push connect bulkheads. Next up, you're gonna get your drill set out and your drill bit, find the right size drill bit for the bulkhead, drill a hole in the center of the cap of your two part dosing liquids. Then you're just gonna take your flexible tubing, you're gonna measure out the correct amount and you're gonna cut it so that it's just above the very bottom of the bottle on the inside. You 
can go fancy and buy a dosing reservoir. Marine Depot sells several different kinds, different shapes, different sizes, so you can probably find one that fits your needs perfectly. We're gonna be using the Bright Well Aquatics Reef Code A and B as our two part. Just measure out the perfect amount, put your water in the dosing container, and then slowly add in the salt while you're stirring it. If you do notice some clumping on the bottom, you can just take your entire dosing container and float it in some hot water, and then just come back throughout the day and stir it up, and it should dissolve completely. Since we're using the Camor X1 pump, the steps are really pretty easy. We have to attach the dosing head, attach the flexible tubing. Then we need to prime the line to make sure there's no air in it. Then we calibrate it. So you have your pump set up, it's calibrated, it's primed, and it's programmed. Now you need to attach the other end of the flexible tubing into your tank. You can just use a clamp, but make sure you put it in a high flow area. So in this tank, I'm gonna be putting it in the rear filtration chamber, and I highly recommend purchasing the Aquamax Pro Holder. There's a lot of different brands out there. This Aquamax one is super affordable. A quick word of caution. This is the Camor X1 dosing head, and this is the inlet and outlet piece. The diameter of this is not the same as the diameter of the straw on the Simplicity. Instead of using the straw in the Simplicity doser, there's a second option right over here where you can insert your own piece of flexible tubing. Not a make or break deal, slightly annoying, because I just expected it to work. Maybe for the next two or three weeks, every other day, testing your calcium and your alkalinity, and then going to that Marine Depot calculator and making slight adjustments, either positive or negative, until you have it dialed in just right. If you have a question for our dear TRS segment, shoot us an email, contact at thatreefshow.com, and your question may be featured in a following episode. I need to level with you guys. One other big problem I ran into during this whole process is I originally put my dosing reservoir right here. But I put the Camor dosing pumps up in here, hidden. I plumbed everything, I thought it was working, and then I started running it. Well, I would run it, and then as soon as it would turn off, everything drained back. As soon as I took the Camor dosing pump and I put it at the same level as a Simplicity doser, now when I dose to the very, very top of my tank, the liquid stays up there. Two partless in Tacoma, I really hope that was helpful. It took me a lot longer than I thought, and I hope that answered your question. But that's it for Dear That Reef Show. Thank you for your question.